गुड मॉर्निंग माय नेम इज डॉक्टर जंग बहादुर सिंह आई एम एम डी मेडिसन एट लाइफ लाइन सुपर स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटल बठिंडा टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट द बेसिक मैनेजमेंट ऑफ द कोलेस्ट्रोल्स एज वी ऑल नो द कोलेस्ट्रोल्स आर द इंशेंशियल पार्ट ऑफ अवर बॉडी कोलेस्ट्रोल्स नॉट ओनली हेल्प इन आवर नॉर्मल डेली लाइफ बट मोस्ट ऑफ द सेल्स आर कंपोज ऑफ कोलेस्ट्रोल्स द बेसिक फंक्शन ऑफ द कोलेस्ट्रोल इज प्रोडक्शन ऑफ हारमोन विटामिन डी थ्री लेवल्स बाइल एसिड्स एंड आल्सो हेल्प टू रेगुलेट द फैटी एसिड्स कोलेस्ट्रोल्स आर नॉर्मली प्रोड्यूस इन आवर बॉडी बट कोलेस्ट्रोल्स आर आल्सो प्रोड्यूस इन द डेली रूटीन डाइट ऑफ आवर अस दे आर नॉन एस डाइट्री कोलेस्ट्रोल मोस्ट ऑफ द कोलेस्ट्रोल्स आर नॉट डिजोल्व इन आवर बॉडी दे नीड लिपिड्स एंड लिपो प्रोटीन्स फॉर देयर ट्रांसपोर्ट इन आवर बॉडी द टू टाइप्स ऑफ लिपो प्रोटीन विच हेल्प इन द ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ द कोलेस्ट्रोल्स आर लो डेंसिटी लिपो प्रोटीन्स एंड हाई डेंसिटी लिपो प्रोटीन्स लो डेंसिटी लिपो प्रोटीन आर एज वी नो आर द बैड कोलेस्ट्रोल्स इन आवर बॉडी एल डी एच इंक्रीज इन द एल डी एच लेवल्स आल्सो लीड्स टू ब्लॉकेज ऑफ द आर्टरी एज दे लीड्स टू द थिकनिंग ऑफ द ब्लड वेसल विद द थिकनिंग ऑफ द ब्लड वेसल्स दे कैन डिक्रीज द ब्लड फ्लो टू द इसेंशियल ऑर्गन्स ऑफ आवर बॉडी लाइक हार्ट किडनी एंड ब्रेन विच कैन लीड्स टू कार्डिय कॉम्प्लिकेशन किडनी डिजीजेस एंड इवन स्ट्रोक द नेक्स्ट लिपो प्रोटीन इज हाई डेंसिटी लिपो प्रोटीन्स बाई द समराइजेशन वी नो एच एफ फॉर हेल्दी and h for high density lipoproteins the increase in the level of the hdl lipoproteins help in the clearing up of the cholesterols and lead to us for the healthy lifestyles hdl cholesterols are also known as good cholesterols in our body as we can see from the name h means healthy the increase in the hdl cholesterol in our body prevents the cardiac complications and decreases the cholesterol in our body it means it clears clears the cholesterol from our body it basically removes the bad cholesterol from our body whenever we are to check the cholesterol level it can be checked by simple test known as lipid uh, lipid profile the lipid profile should be conducted in the fasting state early morning there are many different cholesterols in our body like total cholesterol hdl LDL and triglycerides that cholesterols are measured in the minigram per deciliter the desired level of the cholesterols are total cholesterol should be less than 200 LDL less than 100 HDL should be greater or more than 60 followed by TGs which should be less than 150 whenever there are raised in the cholesterol level the normal Uh, treatment are basically medical management and lifestyle modification first coming on to the medical management the first and foremost most commonly prescribed drugs in the cholesterol management are statins they are the first line drugs to be prescribed they normally does is they decreases the ldl level in our body the next drug which can be prescribed are bile acid sequestrants they are basically used in combination or alone with statins they basically decreases the ldl level the third drug which can be prescribed is nicotinic acid they basically decreases the ldl level increase the healthy cholesterol that is hdl level and decreases tg's level the fourth drug which commonly used to decrease the triglyceride level is fibrinic acids they are most common drugs and drug of choice to decrease the triglyceride levels in in our body the fifth drug are cholesterol absorption inhibitors they basically inhibits the cholesterol in our body absorption they basically inhibits the absorption of the cholesterol in our body and decreases the ldl level in our body the most important aspects of the cholesterol management are the lifestyle modifications the most common thing in the lifestyle modification we can do is decrease the dietary cholesterol that is the things which we eat
by having an healthy eating habit and decreasing the saturated intake of saturated fatty acids sodium trans fatty acids we can lead an healthy lifestyle and decrease the cholesterol level in our body we should have high intake of fibers that is fruits green leafy vegetables and high fiber diet we should decrease intake of meat fatty uh, foods and cold drink and beverages we should also not have too much of tropical oils now coming to the things which we can eat we should have high fiber diet we should have yogurt low fat milk fruit vegetables and grains with lean meat and things which contain low sodium and trans fats the second most important aspect is having a regular exercise by having 150 minutes of aerobic exercise per week can decrease the ldl level in our body the third aspect is having a healthy lifestyle by quitting our smoking and alcohol intake by having smoking we can have a very bad effect on our lifestyle by increasing the ldl level in our body the fourth point is we should have adequate sleep of nearly 7 to 9 hours in our daily life to decrease the productions of the bad cholesterol in our body we should also maintain a healthy lifestyle for a healthy weight so that the ldl levels are decreasing on in our body by having and control over our weight and maintaining an adequate bmi by managing our stress levels also we can have good lifestyle and decreasing the production of ldl increasing hdl levels in our body at the end i would like to summarize that the bad cholesterol is one of the major controllable risk factor for cardiac diseases kidney diseases and heart diseases most common si uh, side effect of having bad cholesterol are the myocardial infarction and stroke in irrespective of the age we should have a healthy lifestyle and decrease the level of the cholesterol in and control the level of the cholesterol in our body it can be done through medicine as directed lifestyle modification and having a regular checkup thank you